Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I am going to be watercolor painting an old beer bottle. That's the plan. There's no specific brand I'm going to be watercolor painting or anything like that. It's just an old bottle of beer. First off, what I'm going to do, though, before I actually watercolor paint the bottle is I am, of course, going to sketch the bottle with my mechanical pencil I have right here. Today, I'm going to be using a pencil Graph Gear 500 0 0.5 millimeter lead size mechanical pencil. And then after that, I am going to be, well, watercolor painting the old bottle that I'm going to be, well, watercolor painting in today's video with my Windsor & Newton Travel watercolor set which I've been using for the last couple videos. And then after that, I am going to go over all of the lines that I previously made with my mechanical pencil, with my Sharpie S gel pen in 0 0.7, not 5, 0 0.7 millimeter size. It's just, just to make a little bit of drawing, well, <laughs> just to make the drawing a little bit more distinct than not. I also have my pencil click eraser with me today, just in case I mess up any of the lines I make when I'm using my mechanical eraser, when I'm using my mechanical eraser, when I'm using my mechanical pencil. I have mechanical erasers too, uh, but uh, they, they tend not to work very well. I mean, like this mechanical eraser right here, I mean, like, we can see there's already some out because I don't put the eraser back because I click like that, no more comes out. It don't work. I don't really, I'm like, I love my mechanical erasers. They break really easily. They don't work very well. I need to find a good mechanical eraser. I ain't gonna lie y'all. This uh, somehow is the best mechanical eraser I've ever bought. And it's not even a mechanical eraser. It's just, it's just an eraser you can move around by yourself. It's not even mechanical. Oh, well, I'm getting off topic though. I'm getting off topic. But let's go ahead and start drawing the beer bottle that I'm well going to be watercolor painting in today's video. Uh, so first off, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the head of the bottle. It's not going to have a cap on it. It is indeed going to be an uncapped bottle. No cap, you know what I'm saying? I apologize. Uh, let's go ahead and just do kind of like this. That kind of thing I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's pretty good. And then let's just have that come down. I'm thinking I might have made it a little bit too wide, but that's okay. Yeah, I made that too wide. I'm going to go and give that another go. So let's try this again. I made that way too wide. It was good. It was good, but I made it too wide. Maybe if I was doing this, uh, maybe if I was doing this in portrait instead of landscape, I would do it. And I would not mind doing this in portrait instead of landscape, but I'll be frank with y'all, my desk isn't big enough uh, for me to be able to do this in, in landscape or in, in portrait instead of landscape. So let's go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller, I think. Just like that. I think that should hopefully be good. And then let's just have this come down and let's just have it come around like that kind of thing. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just like that. There we go. And let's just have it kind of curve around, go flat right there, and then come back up just like that. And there we go. That is the beer bottle all done. Definitely the mouth of it is not as... Uh, thin as it probably should be, but that is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some extra details now that I've done the outline. I'm going to go and add a little bit of a ribbon right here, just like that. And I'm just going to put just some lines on it and whatnot. And then I am, of course, going to add, I think, another ribbon right here. And I'm just going to have this one say beer. Uh, let's start it off in the middle with the two E's. Beer. I'm not happy with that text. I'm going to do that again. Erase, erase. Get off, get, off, get, off, get off my paper. Get off my paper. There we go. Uh, let's go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. There we go. There we go. And let's go and try this again. So B, E, E. R. Beer. There we go. Perfect. Now everybody knows that it's beer. No complaints on my behalf. And now, of course, I need to go ahead and add, I think I'm going to add another little strip right here. Or right here at the bottom. Uh, so let's just have this one coming down, just like that kind of thing. And I'm just going to have some, uh, another line just like this kind of thing. That's just going to be on it, just like that, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. And then, of course, I need to add a face to the bottle. Uh, so let's just have one line coming out like that and one line coming out just like that. 
And then let's just have a nose coming all the way down, just like that. And there we go, there we go. That is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna leave those lines in. Actually, maybe, I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of those, actually. I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of those. Drew them a little bit too dark, but that's okay. I need to definitely get some, uh, I definitely need to get a mechanical pencil, because I don't, I'm like, I don't mind using normal pencils, don't get me wrong. I just prefer using mechanical pencils. Um, if I'm gonna use a normal pencil, I wanna use something really nice. Like, uh, I know Ticonderoga, that shit's the bomb kind of thing. Ticonderoga is really nice. Uh, uh, Blackwing, though, that's the bomb. Uh, but I'm just gonna leave it like that, though. I'm just gonna leave it like that for the moment. And I think that's just gonna be the face I'm gonna be doing. I am just gonna continue erasing just for a little bit. But it shouldn't matter too much because the color I'm gonna be, well, watercolor painting the bottle today is going to be black. Uh, so it doesn't really matter too, too much. Anyway, I am, though, real quick, going to add some legs. to this character right here. And I'm also gonna add some arms, I think coming down the bottom as well, just like that. And there we go, that is the character all done. That is the character all done. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. As said today, I, this is going to be, uh, I'm gonna be only watercolor painting this monochromatic. I'm just going to be doing black today. I'm gonna be using some, uh, what, what is it? It's, I'm gonna be using some, I think I'm gonna be using, yeah, I'm gonna be using this brush, I think mostly. I might use this brush a little bit as well today. I'm not gonna be using any other ones. Uh, these are my two favorite brushes to use besides the super fat one, but the super fat one is too big for this. Uh, I'm gonna be using, I wanna say, yeah, this is a Creative Mark Fundamentals a trademark, a two shader, and then this is a Creative Mark Fundamentals uh, six shader as well, uh, both of which are great. I'm probably gonna be using this smaller one for the details right here and this bigger one uh, for just the main area. And I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing wet on dry, as said, fully monochromatic today. That's the plan. I'm gonna move this right here and hope it doesn't fall over because that would suck. I'm just gonna have that right there because, oh no, oh no, my phone, it's on, it's on 20%. Oh, wait, where's my cord? Uh, oh, oh, I, I didn't even need, to, ah, I got a new battery. And I, they're, they're hand warmer batteries, and they're really great. Uh, but I leave them in my backpack. But I have my old battery right here. It's pretty good. I stole this. Uh, not from the store. I stole it from a family member. And they haven't noticed. No, I'm just kidding. They noticed. They, don't, they just didn't care. And I've been using that as my sort of backup because my cord that would stretch all the way from the floor, well, it doesn't reach my phone when it's on my desk up and it's standing and everything like that. So I have to use a, I have to use, I have to use a, a battery thing up. It's okay though, it's okay. I've got my phone all plugged in now. Thankfully, I, I, I was able to plug it in before. I noticed before I actually started watercolor painting because, hey, you know, water and electricity, that don't mix, even though they're nowhere near, they don't mix, right? They don't mix. Oh, well, um, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, I'm getting off topic though. I'm getting off topic. What was I even talking about? My hand warmers? No, probably. The hand warmers are great though. They're Christmas presents. They're fantastic. I really enjoy it. I really do like them, uh, but, I gotta go ahead and start watercolor painting. I think I'm gonna do all of the little details first. I'm gonna do this upper area, this right here, this right here, and this right here first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the main area of the actual uh, drawing itself, I think. I think I'm gonna start off with, of course, getting this brush a little bit wet, getting some black. I'm gonna go ahead and just go like that, just to kind of uh, see what's going on, get some more black, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this up here. Just like that. Just like that, all right. And I'm gonna leave that like that for the moment. I am going to be trying to make this look blotchy and everything like that, but I'm just doing a base layer right now. I just want that base layer to just be the main color for the backgrounds. I want the strips to be a little bit lighter than the overall color as well. So I'm just gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be trying to make it look, them look a little bit lighter and the overall background for the rest of the bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and color lift just a little bit as well. And just get that all the rest of that down.
And I'm going to be trying to come back and make this all look blotchy a little bit later. But there we go. I do want that to be a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to dry off my brush. And just start trying to color lift just a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the other one as well. Perfect, perfect. No complaints on my behalf. Let's go and just do all of these strips and then I'm gonna go ahead and start on the main portion of the bottle itself. And that one's pretty much just about perfect. That one's pretty much just about perfect. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead and do this bottom one now and then I'll be all done doing the little details on this drawing. Oh, that was a little bit too dark. I'm gonna go and color lift in the middle there just for a minute. There we go, now it's all good, now it's all good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my brush. I'm just gonna dry it off for the moment. I'm gonna put it down and grab my bigger brush. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start on this middle area right here. Now I do want the uh, watercolor to not really look proper. I'm doing this on purpose. Uh, don't y'all worry. I don't want it to look proper. I want it to be all kind of blotchy and everything like that kind of thing. That is pretty much the goal. And I actually think I want to go side to side, but maybe it's too late now. I don't know. Nah, I'm messing this up already. Oh, well. Maybe I should be using my bigger brush, but it's whatever. Well, I said blotchy and I'm getting blotchy already, so it is what it is. I'm just gonna go up and down then. I'm not gonna do uh, side to side. I was thinking I might wanna do side to side and then I completely just didn't even do that. But I'm just going in for the base layer for the moment. And there we go. Let's go ahead and do the areas up here now. There we go. And let's go ahead and do the upper portion now as well. And now let's go ahead and do the bottom area. And there we go. And I'm gonna be trying to make the middle areas look darker than all of the strips and everything like that kind of thing. That's gonna be the goal. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but that is the idea. If it doesn't turn out super well, then hey, it's whatever though. This is mostly dry though. I do think I'm just gonna go ahead and dry out this one part up here that's not quite dry yet. I'm just gonna spread that out, just dry it out and everything like that kind of thing and let the other parts dry out. And I'm gonna go ahead and start going over with my second layer on the front of the bottle right here. I am tempted for this area to go over 
with this brush though, and I think I might honestly do just that. And then the other areas, I think I'm gonna either use this brush or the smaller brush. I did find this brush to be a little bit constraining in these two upper and bottom areas, but for this area, it was just fine. Uh, but it all depends on what I wanna do. He likes to pull back, it's very annoying. And I think I'm going to leave that like that just for the moment. It is uh, very, the paper is very, very, very saturated. That is for sure. I'm going to go ahead and move my brushes over so I can actually use the rest of my paper towel. And I'm going to go ahead and start going over the other areas. Now, this one seems pretty dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start going over that. And yes, I did that on purpose. And now let's go ahead and go over this upper area too. And there we go, alrighty. And now let's go ahead and do the upper, upper area. And then let's go and do the upper, upper, upper area. And there we go. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for the moment. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the labels again. I wanna make those a little bit more blotchy, but I want the colors to be still lighter than the other areas. Like this is definitely darker than those labels. I need to work on the darkness of this though. But let's just go ahead and just work on that for a little bit. I'm going to bring in a bunch of water. I'm actually going to bring in this brush, which is dry.
And there we go. Alrighty, I'm not sure how well this is turning out at the moment. Uh, I definitely need to, I think these areas are okay. I want to lighten this up a little bit as well. It's just too dark. And then I'm going to go and start working on the front again, or on the main part. The main attraction of this drawing, I do suppose, is the right way of putting it. Alrighty, and I think I'm going to do one more layer on the front of it, and I'm just going to let everything dry for a moment. While I'm letting everything dry, I'm just going to go ahead and start doing some of the details that are not touched by the watercolor. So I'm just going to go ahead and start going over some of the details with pen that I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to go over the bottoms of the legs and whatnot, and just go ahead and handle all of those. Not that there's a lot of details with this drawing that I can handle right now, unlike some other drawings I've done previously where I'm kind of just waiting and I've got a bunch to do. Uh, there's not a lot to do, but hey, I'll just go ahead and handle what I can just to get this done just a little bit quicker. I'm not a patient person after all. And there we go. And uh, well, now that I have to wait even longer, I'm going to get a snack. I'm hungry. I got my cooler. I'm eating some motherfucking pretzels, bruh. Oh. I hope y'all are enjoying watching paint dry, though. I know I am. I've got some uh, Quinn creamy peanut butter pretzels with me today. This bag is almost done. They're pretty good, though. Mmm. Mmm. There's a go. Hmm. That's a good snack. That is a good snack. Damn. That's fucking good. I will admit right off the bat, just being a little bit self-critical. This isn't quite turning out the way I wanted it to. Uh, but I'm still not unhappy with it. I think it's definitely more interesting than not, and I definitely think it'll look a lot better once the pen is on it. But it's not quite turning out how I wanted it to. And one thing I've never done before that I'm kind of honestly kind of curious to do that I might do on the little strips right here is use some white. I've never used any white before. And I think I'm going to wait for those to dry actually a little bit more. I hope that doesn't knock down my water. Hmm. Hmm. But I might use some white just to kind of give them a little distinction. Maybe. I don't know. I've never used white before. Never used white watercolor before, but hey, I guess there's a time for everything, right? Hope you all are enjoying my food ASMR. Oh no, it's my last pretzel in the bag. Here's my last pretzel, y'all. Oh. That's a disappointment.
I'm still hungry. I've got a peanut butter cup or two, too, but um, I'm going to save that for later. That was a good snack, though. I'm feeling much better. It's still not dry, though. It's still not dry. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll just keep working on it while it's still wet, then. A lot of paint. Just try to make this as dark as possible. Just keep making everything look a little bit darker. Whoopsies. I'm going to have to put that back. And I'm going to go and just try to color lift on the areas where I kind of bled over a little bit. Well, I'm not so uh, super happy with how this is turning out, but I mean, like, hey, it's whatever. It's whatever kind of thing. I'm still enjoying doing it, and it's definitely an experience that is for sure. The labels are still definitely slightly lighter. I am tempted real quick to just try something really fast. I might just flip the page over right here and just do like a little circle, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of experiment just a little bit with the white, so I'm going to do... Push that back in. It's not one to push, 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 push back in. Let's just go ahead and cover that all up in white. And then let's take... That was a lot of black I just used. Let me get this to go back in. Go back in! I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, came complete! Go back in. Got paint on my hands. There we go. It's back in, though, mostly. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a paper towel now. And I'm just going to dry that. Just like that. Alrighty, now I'm going to go and take some white. 
never done before. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Interesting result there. Interesting result. You get a very light gray. Interesting. I am getting impatient though, so what I'm going to do is I am going to be lazy and go like that, but I'm going to be careful at the same time and go like that, and then I'm going to go that, like that, and I'm going to throw that away because there's a lot left, and I'm going to grab this now, which is my one from yesterday. Grab this, ah, <laughs> just like that, and boom! Now it has an interesting texture, right? Right? I don't know. It doesn't look as good as I, it I was hoping. That is for sure. But I mean, like, hey, not every piece of art I do is going to be good. Um, now I'm I'm impatient though. Um, I've been waiting for too long for this to dry. I am gonna go ahead and start going over with pen. I am bored of waiting. So let's just go ahead and start going over it in pen, right? Should be dry enough to do that. I hope. And I'm going to be going over all these lines again after this dries just a little bit more, of course. This is just the base layer. I feel like y'all can probably see the top of my head right now. It is what it is. There we go. And now let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do this up here. Ear, just like that and now let's go ahead and start working on the face and as I said this is this just the first layer I'm gonna be going over back over all of the lines once again Oopsies. There we go. And uh, it definitely didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted to, but just taking a look. Oh, I should, should probably connect these before anything, right? Taking a look at it, did it turn out more the way I wanted to than not? No, not really. It did not really turn out the way I wanted it to. I'm not, mm, it's, it's hard to say, because while I don't dislike this piece of art, I think, okay, I think I figured it out. I don't dislike how this turned out, but I also know that it's, it's not my best art ever, even with me not giving a kind of a shit about watercolor 
uh, or doing watercolor properly with this piece of, of art and everything like that kind of thing. It didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. I wanted this area to be a lot lighter and this area to be like darker. Maybe I should have gone for the opposite. Maybe I should have had this area right here be a lot lighter and this area be a lot darker. I think that would have probably been an easier thing to do. And maybe I just was just going at this the wrong way. And then especially with the fact that I dried it off with the paper towel. Now it has an interesting texture though. Um, I don't know. I'm just not particularly happy with it. Uh, but I certainly don't think it's my worst start ever. That's for sure. Uh, but it's also just definitely not my favorite. Uh, but it's, I definitely do think it's not too bad. And I'm just going to stand it real quick. There's a noise outside. Like somebody was hitting a trash can or something. It actually did happen right after I finished one of these videos. So I, I heard a loud, I was finishing up the video, I was cleaning up, getting everything all set up with my crane that I have and putting everything back away, putting like my phone holder back in my backpack because it's the same phone holder I use for my main channel videos. And um, I hear a boom right outside kind of thing. I hear a boom and I look outside. I'm like, holy shit, what the hell just happened kind of thing. And uh, I look outside and somebody smacked into one of my neighbor's cars. They just smacked into it and totaled it. I was just like, holy shit. And they pushed it forward, shoved over their neighbor's trash cans. I was like, oh my God, bro. What the hell are you thinking? What the fuck? I was like, oh, it wasn't my car. But like, damn, bro. I was just like, come on. Right after I finished, I was like, I'm glad it didn't happen during the video because then I would have gotten distracted. I was like, then I would have been like, oh, I don't want to get up and take a look because I'm in the middle of recording a video. Then I would have missed all of the juicy, uh, all of the juicy neighborhood TV, right? Just going all over, over all of these lines once again. And I am just going to go. This is soaking wet. I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to move that over. And I'm actually going to grab another paper towel and just dry off my brushes real quick. Just so. I don't need to worry about it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. Just do that real quick. Just dry them all. Again, just do that. Nobody saw that, it's okay. I guess I just circumcised my brush live on video. It's no longer a brush, it's just a circumcised piece of wood. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead. I'm gonna go I'm trying to figure out how to organize this. I'm gonna move my watercolor sheet. There we go. All right, because I'm just trying to figure out how I want to get all the rest of the pen lines done, just uh, making sure I can actually do it properly the way I want and actually get the perspective I want without getting my head all in the video. Cause usually I draw and I'm like, I'm like right up on the page kind of thing. I'm like right up on the page. Like, I'm like, I'm like this close to the page kind of thing. And, um, oh damn. I can feel the heat coming from my phone. <laughs> my phone is heating up right now. I could feel the phone coming. I could feel the phone. I could feel the heat coming from my phone when I had my face close to it. But, um, what was I about to say? I'm usually pretty close up when I'm drawing, uh, off a of video. And so I'm just trying to make sure I get everything the way I want without getting my head in the frame too, too much. I was re-watching one of my videos from a couple days ago and I was like, oh my God, my head is all in the frame. I was like, what was I doing, bro? What was I doing? I gotta be a little bit more careful about that. Although saying that this, this video is probably exactly the same way. Beer. Beer. <laughs> beer. Wow, it's beer. <laughs> How edgy. Uh, oh, excuse me. 
No, I wasn't drinking any beer before this. That's not why I burped. I drank a monster before this. I really want another monster, though, I ain't gonna lie. You know me, I love my caffeine. I'm just gonna make the bottom a little bit darker as well. Just to give it some distinction. You'll see that, okay, cool, y'all can see that. And there we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start going over the faint, oh, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna do this like, ah, like this. Do I want to add any nose lines? I think that's that's a that's a good question. Do I want to add any? I am kind of thinking I don't. But I also kind of do. So I'll just I'll just add a couple. And I'll just have them be small and kind of understated. There we go. Alrighty, so that is the drawing. Uh, what do I think about it? I don't think it's bad per se. Uh, it's just not exactly what I wanted. It's definitely just not exactly what I wanted, I will admit, uh, but I'm not unhappy with it per se. I'm definitely not unhappy with it per se, but I'm also, uh, excuse me, not really happy with it either. Uh, there are definitely some things that I want to go back over. Like this line right here is not nearly thick enough for my liking. So I'm just gonna go and fix that, finish up those last couple things while I'm just talking and doing the outro. Uh, but I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I attempted to watercolor paint a bottle of beer. I don't think it turned out super bad, but uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I kind of wanted to give it an interesting look, do a monochromatic look with it kind of thing, but maybe doing something that has the detail like this kind of thing instead of one of my more typical, more um, l less detailed characters. Uh, like a fish or a really tall monster or something like that kind of thing. Maybe this sort of style works better with those instead of this. But I also was pretty impatient uh, with the drawing today. I, I, I wanted the water to go away and I used too much water at that. And at, at the point where I was, there was nothing I could really do about it, uh, which really is a shame. I really did make this paper very, very, very wet. Um, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. I just think that it's not my best art ever. Uh, but let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Let me know. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that's all I have to say. I want to add a little bit of face right there, I guess. I don't know. Beer. I don't know. I'm not really happy with that face either. I thought it would be amusing, but it's really not. But um, yeah, I do like this drawing more than not. I do like this drawing more than not, I will admit. Um, but it's, it's definitely not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite watercolor painting ever. But I think I've pretty much now done everything I wanted to do to it. I think only, really, the only other thing I might want to do is just thicken these up a little bit. That's it. Um, I'm going to just, just do that too. Um, but, yeah, no, that's it. That's it. It's done. It's complete. 
no complaints on my behalf that is for sure. Well, eh, some complaints. Um, but I don't have anything else to say. So as such, I'm going to go ahead and actually roll the official, official, official outro now. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, like, subscribe. Uh, if you guys want to leave any constructive criticism for this drawing right here or any tips you guys might have for watercolor painting uh, for future videos, let me know. Comments down below. And uh, like, subscribe, check out my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, my main channel. And I think that's all I have to say. Uh, so yeah, to the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.